What's going on, Pokey people? This is Pikachrot here, your coach of the New York Metachance. You can also call me Jack. Um, we are back with our week three match against Bleedle and the Jolly Beedrill. If you like the content that you're seeing, I'm hoping that you can actually hear me now, which would be amazing. Um, if you like what you're seeing and hearing, please remember, please leave a comment, um, drop a like. We are working our way up to 10 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button. And as always, let's just get right into it. Um, Lidl's got a pretty scary sun team here, so we're just going to run through. They've got the Weavile, the Screamtail, the Hisuian Zorark, the Ogre Parm Hearthflame, um, the Walking Wake, the Sandy Shots, Quillfish, Sawsbuck, Braviary, Torkoal, and Fortress. I believe Sawsbuck and Braviary are the two Terra Captains. I should really know this. I've been away from the game for a little bit, I'll be honest. Um, it's been kind of a hectic day. I've been doing some traveling today, so... Got off a plane a few hours ago, and now we are here battling. Um, I'm always just excited to be here. I'm always just happy to play Pokemon. Um, let's look into our team. Starting off, we've got Monsters Inc. V, Thunderous Incarnate making its debut. We've got Thunderbolt, Sludge Bomb, Grass Knot, and Thunder Wave. Um, pretty straightforward. Not a lot of these Pokemon really like switching in on this thing. We're gonna, just going to poke some holes in this real fast, just get off some attacks, maybe hit a Thunder Wave or two if we're feeling feisty. Um, yeah, Thunderous is here to hit hard. Um, this is our win condition. We've got Ratatouille with Sword Stance, Knock Off, Poison Jab, and Gunk Shot. While rocking the Terra Dark um, typing, so those knockoffs will be doing a lot of damage. Able to run the Adamant Nature because we've got the Grassy Seed on Burden. This thing's going to put in the work. Um, I'm excited. Finding Nemo with Flip Turn, Play Rough, Protect, and Wish. Play Rough is mostly there, so this can deal with Walking Wake. Um, not let Walking Wake sit up on this Rocky Helm. It's going to be great for things like Weavile. Um, and then Flip Turn is just a little molar in this game. Really, it's just get in there and get out. That's the name of the game. The Good Dinosaur is a pretty good matchup. We bring it mostly for the Ogre Pond, Hearth Flame. Um, we've got Air Slash, we've got Draco Meteor, and then we've got Taunt and Roost um, in case that screen tail starts to get out of hand. 160 speed, um, at speed's a lot of things, but we still got a lot of bulk, so it can be a good utility. Infiltrator is also in case we want to put substitutes up on our team. We can say thank you, Air Slash the things, Draco Meteor the things that we might want to set. Cars, the Heatran. Um, we've got offensive Heatran this week, which is going to be awesome. Uh, we've got the Flame. We've got the Dark Dragon Pulse for the Walking Wig. We've got the Flash Cannon, and we've got Stealth Rocks, our Choice Scarf Stealth Rocker. Um, if we can get those Stealth Rocks up, that'll be great. If we can't, that's also okay. Lastly, we've got our Grassy Terrain Setter, Rillaboom, um, Rocking Leech Seed, Protect, Knock Off, Grassy Glide. Do I want this to be physically defensive or specially defensive? Um, I originally had it be physically defensive because I was running with an Aqua Berry. Now, I'm not so sure. Because I feel like it's going to take... What hits is it going to take? Like, it might just have to take a Zorak hit at some point, or take a Sandy Shocks hit. And if that's the case, honestly, let's make it specially defensive. We can even split the difference. Um, yeah, we just don't want this thing to be bulky and take some hits. Um, is there anything that's really slow that allows to beat it? No, not really. If we had a really slow, really, like, if we had, like, an Ursaluna Blood Moon right now, it would tear apart this team. Uh-oh. We are, you are seeing my Wi-Fi working in real time. You are seeing my other teams in real time. Um, only a little bit embarrassing. But... Yeah, those are the teams we're working with. I'll let you know how that Rillaboom decision turns out. Um, super duper excited to play Bleedle. We're going to see if we can go keep going undefeated 3-0. I'm going to connect and get started with the battle. All right. We are back. We see the Sun team. We do not see the Braviary. We do not see the Ogre Pond. Oh, thanks. You too. Mind getting the live mix? Do you mind? No ogre pond, but 
Sawsbuck is super interesting. Um, yeah, I wonder. Heatran must have been a major deterrent. I'm really happy to see that. <laughs> um, I'm still just going to stick to the plan. Um, Monsters, Inc. has a good number on this team. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to run speed things. See how much um, Ratatouille is at speeding. I might regret not investing more in speed. Um, that's okay, though. Weavile is out. So, I wonder if he's scared. He could also be a uh, Icicle Spear. I want to be careful about that. So, I'm actually in the fear that he might be Icicle Spear. I'm going to switch right out to Finding Nemo. Knock off. Ooh, but 52%? That looks banned if I've ever seen. Make sure I'm recording. I am. Let's see. Lomolola. Weavile. Yeah, that did 52. That's banned if I've ever seen it. Okay. Is there any way? You're just adamant and wearing like black glasses or something. So it could be not, but I'm still just gonna flip turn. I don't think you have any business staying on me. You got a quillfish, cool. And you're rocky on the quillfish. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go back to my plan of getting off a lot of damage with Tunby. And you don't really have a greed switching? So I'm okay just getting off a Thunderbolt. If I have to launch a Thunderbolt into Screamtail, then I learn a bit about Screamtail, and I'm okay with that. Hmm. I'm gonna figure out what Terra type Saw's Buck is, because that is really something I should just know. Uh, before that becomes an issue. So yeah, I don't love Alomo taking that much damage, but also I can play more recklessly with Noivern because um, what's his face is out of the picture? Because Ogre Pond's out of the picture. And this team does not love taking. After the Scream Tail's gone, this team does not love taking, uh. Air, er, air Slashes and Draco Meteors. So let's see here. Um, Bleedle's team, Saw's Buck. Three points in his Terra Fairy and Fighting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, that could definitely be a problem. Uh, okay, under prepped for Saw's Buck. It's a silly thing to say. That does exactly the damage I wanted to. Um, how much? Monsters Inc. Thunderous. I really don't have to over predict. But maybe I can get some mileage out of it. Um, Torkoal. Sunsetter. Sludge Bomb does a decent amount of damage. And so I might just go for Sludge Bomb. Um, because I can. Yeah. Thunderbolt did 62%, which means that it could be... No, it's just a little roll. I'm going for Sludge Bomb. Oh boy. Okay, we got the poison. Sweet. It's a leftover sauce, but interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, I kind of still want to preserve this. I'm not sure if Sawsbuck gets a way to recover, but again, I don't have any reason not to just go out into the good dinosaur, which has lost a lot of utility. You are a Terra Fairy, you Terra Blast, that does a decent amount of damage. Um, do I need to predict right now? Not really. If this goes down, is this a problem? 
Not really. Um, like, obviously, I want it. But I don't want you over predicting on me. Um, I'm just gonna air slash. It doesn't do a lot of damage at all. Noivern, Saw's Buck. Air Slash does 70. Yeah, okay. And if you're not Terra, 26%. Yeah, this is definitely a bulky Saw's Buck. Let me look at the Thunderous Calc. Sludge Bomb, if you're normal in grass. It would have done 95, except if you're super bold. Two. Um. You're like. You're just relying on the sun here. Let's go into Lillaboom. And you are Sword Stance. Okay, interesting. I'm just gonna leave each seat. Let's just rack up damage. Quillfish, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna go right back down to Monster Sink since it applies a lot of pressure. Yep. Now, how do I feel about just Thunder Waving? Well, if I go for Thunderbolt. Let's just thunderbolt. Let's just get some damage off. Because you might just let this go down. Yep, okay. One Pokemon down. Plenty more to go. But no more sun is a good thing for me. Um, I don't really know what to make of Weavile yet. It's definitely choice banned, which I'm assuming means no Icicle Spear. But... If you're going out into this, then I might just paralyze you. Or I might just Thunderbolt and see what you've got for me. I think that's the play. Because then I can Thunder Wave you the following turn. Yep. Let's just gauge what you've got. 61 damage. Cool. And is that a physical walking wake? It's thunderous. Walking wake? What? An interesting team. What a bizarre team. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with not knowing who does. Um, not good. 20 to 24. No attack investment. So if you're max attack, if you're just regular mixed. Right. So how much does like a Draco do? Draco will kill. Easily. <laughs> um, well, there's the other question. How far away is this team from being blown up by uh, Ratatouille? Pretty close. Pretty close, if you ask me. I'm honestly okay saving this because it still does a lot. Um, no, well, I'd say Noivern is the most expensive, so I'm going to go out to Noivern. Yeah. For Draco, that's fine.
feel like now I can go back down to Thunderous and Thunderbolt again. Because nothing really wants to take it. Or I can get up my rocks. Which would be cool. Um, does Walking Wake get Earthquake? Let's see. What's Walking Wake's physical moveset like? If it gets Earthquake, then I don't want to go into the trap, obviously. doesn't really get a physical move, so I can go out into Heatran and just click. It's still going to take a lot from us. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to play with fire. Um, by going to Aloe, I can heal it up, but also I can just wish it up later. I'm okay just going to Thundee. I think Thundee does a lot of damage, and I need to get in and out of things that I don't appreciate. It. <laughs> so Thundee it is. I'm just clicking Thunderbolt. Sack walking L, that's fine. Um, you switch into that, that's fine. I'm clicking Thunder Wave. Switch into Torkoal, that's okay with me. If you switch into Sawsbuck, that's okay with me. Then good play, and the same thing would have happened as if you just switched into Torkoal. I need to make sure I have the resources to beat Screamtail, but if I can weaken everything, then Grafai, I can finish stuff off. What are you switching at? What are you, where are you going? You want Screamtail? It's okay with me. Ah, oh. okay, that's too bad. Um, I still think I can Thunder Wave this. So I'm just gonna click it again. That's really, really too bad. Um, I think Rillaboom deals with Wake though, which is good. Do I need to Thunder Wave this? No, I'm just gonna Sludge Bomb it. As you can tell, I might not be thinking fully clearly. No, oh, I think I'm playing fine. Um, I just need to get some general damage across the board. Um, if I know the Screamtail doesn't have Thunder Wave, then I'm also fine. Like, Gunk Shots need to hit. That's the that's the end game. Um, gunk Shots need to hit. I know Saw's Buck isn't speedy, so I'll be able to live Saw's Buck hits. And Gunk Shot it. How much does Weavile need to be at? Okay, that did nothing. Let's play a little bit more defensive. Let's let's get up my defenses. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, I think Skew accidentally brought Sazbuck. Cool. I'm gonna flip turn out. Let's see, Screamtail. So to me, that looks superly, super specially defensive. Yeah, 35%. That is max HP, definitely. And max special defense. Yeah, okay. That's what I expected. 
you're clicking protect. That's okay. I might wish up and protect. Just protect and see what you do. Worst comes to worst, I can switch. I don't know, this thing doesn't scare me. You're not leftovers. You have Encore, that's okay. You wanna Encore me into Protect? I'm okay with that. Tail has no speed. How fast is it? Two fifty six, and I'm two sixty four. Oh, that's too. Well, actually, I know you can't do anything in your rocky helmet. Oh, it's also cool information. Doesn't mean protecting on core powers. I'm gonna get my rocks up. You literally can't do anything. Weavile too. That's the question. And how fast is Saw's back? Saw's back can be fast, but I don't think it can be fast and take the hits its way the way it's intended. solar beam, but you're a twerkle at the end of the day. So I'm not, like, worried. Um, is this how I lose the game? I think it's okay. Earth power. Um, if earth power does that much, Hello, Mamola. Torkoal. Earth power does a little bit more. Let's say your max special attack, because why not? How much does solar beam do? Not enough. Cool, but can I also just flip turn? Oh, wait. Since it seems like there's no downside. Poison Jab will kill us.
honestly, I think that you don't go for... I don't think you go for Earth Power yet, but just in case you do, you can still should live. In most cases. Yep. I'm gonna go for Flamethrower. Pick up my kill. We have 383, I'm 385. Cool. Does he transfer this I don't think so. If you go out into anything besides walking away from anything, like, yep, what are you, Terra? Okay. I guess they could just stall off this. But also if I go into really this point, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna choose. I'm gonna click the win button. Even if I don't preserve the differential. Once walking wind goes down, you can't also win the Or if it wins the flash. No. Sorry if I haven't been explaining as much. Um, basically, this team that they brought, that um, Jolly Beagle brought, brought, was very offensive, um, but it didn't have the right offenses to break through the Pokemon that I had when it needed to. So, alone, all those able to survive. The Weavile hit, for example, able to get fully up. Torkoal played too passively, in my opinion. Um, Walking Wigs, this mix set that, like, it speeds right now, which is, like, fine except it doesn't have the power to break through anything. So even though Heatran like leaves a lot of openings, um, like this isn't doing anything for them. I'm gonna click knock off because that's my best move. And if they go for like, if they go for anything, really it's fine. Once the sun goes out, it becomes a lot harder. Like Sawsbuck doesn't have speed anymore. Um, Screamtail doesn't have some synthesis boost, um, Walking Wake is not as fast, and Grafia can really just come in and it doesn't even really need to sword things. It can just Terra Dark knock off, Poison Jab, and Gunk Shot. Um, with the Stealth Rock up, I think uh, Poison Jab beats Weavile, or like, we'll get the Weavile. And honestly, if it doesn't, I'm not sure Weavile can kill back. Because it's banded, but it's not... I'm still plus one at mostly max attack, or max HP. So I think this match is becoming a done deal. Um, once I get Grafia in, I'm gonna see if I can get Grafia to get four kills this game. But also don't want to overplay my hand. That is a still, that is still a choice thing, Weavile. That is still a sword thing. So, I don't want to play around with either of those. This is not... Um, 84 minus 25 is 60, that's 59, I think it's... Okay, I'm gonna just go to find an email and I'm gonna get That'll just win. I'm gonna double check that for Kaya to Weavile. Poison Jab does 58.76 Um, And then if the Grassy Seed is activated, nothing should be. Especially if I Terra Dark. If I Terra Dark into Okay. Did that kill me? I mean, at the end of the day, I can still lock into Flash Cannon with Heatran, and Thunderous is still faster than everything here, except for Thunderous can still be, still work in the sack. 
Okay, protect. Okay, there's no way for you to stop the flip turn. You're getting a lot of healing. Help. Yeah. I don't know. This team, right now the bit of brought is really interesting and hard for me to just get through, but especially once Torpo gets down, the teammates don't help each other out. So, the synergy is not quite there. Very scary team. Very scary opponent. <laughs> okay. I don't even need to set up that one. Let's get the bias and the kills. Let's get the bias and the AOs in this house. Woo! Woo! Let's go, Grafaya! You can do it! I believe in you! Really, the, the true strength of being a Pokemon trainer is believing in your Pokemon! I believe! I believe, Grafaya! Believe! I believe! I didn't do my calc super high. Walking Wake. Poison Jab is 39 to 47. Terra Guard knock off also does a lot of that. Um, but once. Yeah. It's after the Stealth Rock. The Stealth Rock actually is gonna come in real um, big. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't have a Grafai Eye answer. <laughs> you didn't have a Grafai Eye answer. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I didn't over prep for Ogre Pond. I honestly thought I really under prepped for Ogre Pond, but. If Ogre Pond didn't come, then I decided I didn't under prep. Hmm. Hmm. I think this team could have caught me off guard. Uh, I mean, it did catch me off guard. I didn't. You know, what was my saw buff? Saw's buff was more offensive than the ability to not come. A lot of things were more offensive. But the team I brought was ready to take a couple hits and Thunder was giving me so much of the um, Yeah. Yeah, let's let's see. Let's see the group I see. Let's let's see these four four kills. Four poison guys. Yeah. Here we go, there's one. Who's next? Bring them to the top of your fire. Okay, please just drop the GG in the chat. I'm not gonna respond because I don't like to say good game when the opponent still has three Pokemon. Um, let's get these kills out. Here's Weavile. Um, I'm gonna Terra Dark. Because... Then, there we go. GG. Alright, and with that, your New York Metachams are on the board. We are three wins, um, zero losses, and I think we're, we're in a really good spot for playoffs. Oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. There we go. Um, we're in a pretty good spot for playoffs. Playoffs usually is five wins. You can get in with four wins, but five wins. So, I'm really proud of how we played. I'm really proud that we assessed um, our win conditions. Um, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Grafai I put in the work, and this is why Grafai I is our terror captain, even though it's terrestrialized. Alright, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Have a wonderful evening. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment. I'll catch y'all later. Pikachu's signing off.